よし What's going on, guys? It's Shu here, bringing you another review slash reaction on Eden Zero, and this chapter, well, we get to further see Ziggy and how serious he is about doing what he's doing. We get to see a little bit of Connor's personality, which honestly, I don't care for, but we get to see that this man actually cares for the well-being of children and women, I guess, but. The biggest surprise is at the end of the chapter, and I'm honestly excited to see this character because not only is this character a replica of one of my all-time favorite characters made by my Hiro Mashima, but it's also a character that has not been explored one bit. But we start off with Ziggy. We see that the um, the I guess you could say the communication or the the the, the discussion. That he has with, I guess you could say, his previous creations with Witch and and like just having hearing them just you know saying you know look why are you doing this you know you used to want peace and stuff like that so what what's the change what's made you want to do this and of course he's not giving a clear answer uh, he's basically just dismissive of what they have to say and. You know, they they are just a little bit startled, and you gotta understand, you know, where they're coming from. And we hear the other, I guess you could say, the new Dark Generals, and hearing what they have to say. And it's like, you know, it is confirmed that Valkyrie is dead, and Ziggy kind of putting the nail in the coffin here for everyone, which is like good. It's just it's just one less person to worry about when it comes to taking them out. And we see like Kimura's reaction; she's very angry. At the fact that he's saying all these things, and you know, that's, that's her teacher, you know, and it's just very conflicting to hear. But we start seeing him give the order to Connor. He actually tells him, destroy the ship uh, and do it now. Connor's very hesitant, and like I said, he's not sure about doing it because of how that there's kids and you know it's just not right. And we see one of the generals just come on up to him, he's like, Look. They will become an issue. I agree. You agree with his ideals, and this is why you come along. But if you do not do this, they will be standing in the way of our ideals. So I guess just kind of having him hear that. And Connor is, in fact, human. He's just aligned with what Ziggy wants to do. What particular reason? I don't really know. But we see that he starts shooting at the ship. The ship's like getting some really heavy damage and it's just not looking good for the whole crew uh, so it's, we start seeing like everyone else in the in the ship as well we see uh, you know Jin and his sister they're actually uh, you know wondering what's going on I'm hoping that they have some kind of involvement with all of this uh, where we see that they start deploying their defense they throw out all these like little tiny ships and whatnot and only one singular general comes out and he obliterates everything that they had sent out to kind of help them escape. It's, it's it sucks because you know these guys seem to be an upgraded version. They guys these guys know what they're doing. They're much stronger, and uh, it's just a kind of a sucky situation because it's like it's really making the other the other I guess you could say the shining stars or shining generals looking bad, you know. And so it's like what to do, what to do, and we get to see. Um, Rebecca trying to kickstart her ability and trying to get the cat leaper to activate and it does not work. Uh, Shiki as well, you know, at first, and I didn't really much talk about him yet, Shiki actually is very kind of like unsure, but he kind of snaps out of it and he goes and is like, all right, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. So I do like that Shiki's like, we got most of Shiki's reaction in the last few chapters. But in this one, we see that he's actually determined now. He's like, he realizes that this is a serious situation. But luckily, though, they do they, are, they do get some help, and unexpected help. That is with Elsie Crimson, who shows up. The, I guess you could say, the one of the members of the Orashian Seis, 
Galactica, which, like, come on, man. Mashima, you could have just given a different name. But we see that she actually, who is very powerful, who has conquered other systems. And so it's like she comes and she's telling them, like, all right, kids, I'm here to help you out, basically. But I want to know what the hell Ziggy's about, all about. Like, I need to know what's going on. And she wants to get on board Ziggy's ship to see what's happening. So I wonder, though, how that encounter is going to be between these two. What is she going to have, have to say? And what is, what is Ziggy going to be saying after all of this? So uh, it's just a, a pretty good chapter. I, I'm glad that we're going to have her character in this story and being involved. Because I have no idea who she really is. We don't know much about her. So, it is nice to have. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts. I'd always love to know what you guys think. And as always, um, take care of yourselves and others. And I will catch you later.